Hello everyone, my name is Jesse Ansma. I am one of the administrators here at City High Middle School. My specific title is that of the IB coordinator. Hope the purpose of this video is to provide a brief yet hopefully comprehensive overview of the diploma program commonly referred to as DP for grades 11 and 12. Some of the things that this video is going to cover today for one is the IB mission statement, the IB pathways, something called the learner profile, and the whys of the IB program, the benefits of it. We'll discuss very briefly uh, some of the differences between uh, traditional AP and the IB program. And then we'll look at some of the nuts and bolts uh, of DP here at City. The, those being the courses, the grading, some of the assessments and components, and of course, our supports that we have uh, for the betterment of our students. What you see in front of you right here is the IB mission statement. I want to draw your attention to some of the bolded terms. The International Baccalaureate aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people. Those who recognize that they are a part of a greater society, a global society, yet feel that they have the confidence and the skills to enact positive change, to bring about a more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. If I can bring your attention to the third paragraph on the bottom. These programs encourage students across the world to become active, compassionate and lifelong learners who understand that other people with their differences can also be right. What that means is that our students here at City, IB students, learn to communicate and communication is most difficult when it's with others of differing perspectives or different opinions. Our students are able to converse effectively in such a setting and that is something that's needed in this world. These are the IB pathways. There are four main programs uh, for IB. Uh, here at City, we are authorized for two of them, the middle year program for grades 7 through 10, and then the diploma program, which this video is focused on, for grades 11 and 12. I do want to be very blunt and forward, just simply saying that the IB curriculum, what your students are going to learn, what you students will learn here, is rigorous. It's difficult. You will be challenged. One of the biggest key pieces of advice that I can offer is find that self-motivation. What is pulling you? What is driving you? What is encouraging you to be your best self that you can be each day uh, for those around you, for your families, and for yourselves? Uh, find that self-motivation. Another thing I would like to encourage you is do never, never be afraid to ask for help. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It is a sign of courage. And when you see opportunities, be that help for some other people. This is very much a learning community. You are not going to be isolated by yourself. Okay. So reach out, lean in, and we are, we'll work through this together. Some quick comparisons between the AP and the IB. What you see right here, uh, many of you may recognize as a Venn diagram. Those things, the circle pieces on the sides, those are going to be the differences. The overlap in the middle are the similarities. So first, let's talk about some of the similarities between AP and IB. Uh, both are academically challenging. Uh, you will be challenged in both the AP courses, traditional high school education system, and then here with IB. They both require a certain level of motivation and commitment to your academic pursuits. And uh, the opportunity to learn factual material uh, is present in both sort of settings and curriculum styles. Where they begin to differ. Subjects uh, for IB and teachings are cross-curricular in focus. They're not siloed so much. Uh, there are things that you will learn in math that you can apply to uh, your betterment and understanding in history or in language. Uh, if for AP, courses focus on very individual subjects. If you're in math, you're strictly focused on math content. What I like about the IB difference here is that uh, every single hour that you are learning new content, it is enforcing and encouraging the development uh, for every other content area. In IB, 11th and 12th grade, uh, you will experience two-year courses for most of the courses that you're going to take here, with an exam being at the end of the year. AP classes are very, again, disjointed, one-year courses focused on the content. Given the fact that IB has two-year courses with the curriculum that you're working with, you're going to be able to go into greater depth and breadth uh, for, the, for the content to, to delve deeper in your understanding uh, over a two-year period. In IB, you have choices for the level of classes that you're going to take. There are two levels of mastery. You're going to see such acronyms as HL and SL. HL means higher level and SL means standard level. With AP, you have a single level of mastery. 
IB is a globally diverse content. Uh, we are very internationally minded. That is the main design uh, of IB. So the content that you are going to be learning is not strictly content that comes out of uh, authors or writers, uh, research that's happening within the United States. IB curriculum in encapsulates and incorporates a globally diverse array of resources, authors, scientists, uh, philosophers into your content and into, into your learning. IB exams emphasize critical thinking and analysis. AP exams uh, assess very much rote learning. What have you memorized? Uh, IB puts a high emphasis on critical thinking and how, you, how a student is able to apply themselves to a new situation where they have to utilize the skills that they have developed. And lastly, uh, your student's teachers are going to have some input on their final test scores. In AP, the score that you get is the score score that you get. There's no other weighing influence or factor. Uh, so there is more of a personal touch to the IB assessment complex. Something looking, some, apologies, looking at the learner profile. This is one of the main uh, backbone components of IB curriculum design and its mission. Uh, what you see in front of you are 10 attributes that IB has uh, identified as um, being attributes that when practiced, when, when built, and when utilized, make for effective citizens in our society. So IB learners, city students, are great inquirers. They're curious about what they are learning. They're able to ask good, challenging, and timely questions. Our students are open-minded and caring. They know their stuff. They know their content. They are knowledgeable. They can think critically and are not afraid to take risks in this academic setting. Uh, our students learn that risk taking, yes, is scary at times, but in this setting, in the setting of education, uh, when we take risks, we grow, we learn, and we challenge each other to become our best selves. They are effective communicators, articulate and poignant. Uh, they are able to balance their lives, to have a certain level of self-assessment and self-reflection and understanding where are they mentally, emotionally, socially, uh, and what do they need to do uh, to, to, again, balance sort of that work-life balance. Uh, this then in, informs some of their actions, of course, and their actions are based on principles. And all throughout all of this, our students develop skills in being reflective individuals. So some of the whys of the benefit, or whys of the DP program, what are some of the benefits? Hopefully you will find that this list is not exhaustive, that you could add on to it given your experience in DP. Again, as I said before and discussed a little bit and the differences between AP and IB, uh, the academic breadth and depth of the content and the curriculum you will get with IB is, is unique and it is rich. Uh, your experience here will mold independent and confident learners. Uh, this curriculum is internationally recognized. Other high schoolers around 11th and 12th graders around the world are learning the same content. So it has a very uh, unique global construct, a community uh, feel to it, which is, which is unique and wonderful. Uh, again, our IB students, given the rigor of their classes, are very well prepared for post-secondary work or school, wherever they are going. And we're seeing that there are, uh, this is, instigating some application recognition by universities. Students who graduate from city and other IB schools uh, are able to be accredited credit, being able to accredited courses in universities, many of them often going in as a freshman with sophomore status. Our students develop critical thinking skills. They have strong writing abilities. They utilize and build their executive functioning skills, such as time management. Uh, they can advance their communication skills. Again, all of this is steeped in a global context and a worldview, uh, which culminates in the development of a very holistic learner. What you can see here, this survey is a little old, but it does bring a point that is still true today. Uh, what you see here is a list of universities and colleges with their IB acceptance rates for students coming in, uh, those applying as freshmen, and the total population acceptance rate. And you can see across all of the universities listed here, IB candidates have a greater 
percentage chance of being accepted into these schools because schools are beginning to recognize that the quality uh, and capacity of IB students and students coming out of city is something that they want on their campuses. All right, let's take a quick look at some of the nuts and bolts of the DP uh, experience here at City High Middle School. We'll look very briefly at the courses, some of the grading, uh, our assessments, and then a general two-year overview of your experience. What you see here is some of the courses that you are going to take. Uh, English World Literature, Individuals and Societies, those are the histories of America, it's your, more of your history focus. Math, Applications and Interpretation, Analysis and Approaches, those are two math classes you can choose. Uh, and then Visual Arts, Music, Psychology, your science choices are Chemistry, Biology, Physics, and something called ESS, Environmental Systems and Societies. That's an interdisciplinary class, which is unique. And then for our language acquisition, Spanish, French, and Chinese. Again, all of this is then uh, applicable to our IB core, which I'll talk about and give you more resources towards, towards the end of this video. One thing I did want to draw your attention to again is that because we're in DP, it, as I stated before, there are these are two-year classes. Now, in your junior year, you're going to get a sense of which level you want to become uh, or you want to designate yourself as for each class. You're going to see such acronyms as SL and HL. The difference is, our main, is mainly HL is increased rigor and responsibility. You're going to go into into even greater depths of understanding. Uh, you're going to have maybe some more literary sources you're responsible for or more research articles that you're working, but you're going to have the opportunity to self-differentiate and sort of follow your passions within the classes that you are taking. I want you to be uh, cognizant, students, of which HL and which SL classes you take. Play to your strengths. If you really appreciate science, you enjoy science, think about taking an HL in bio or chem or, uh, or in ESS. Uh, traditionally, here at City and around the world, English and history uh, have the greatest uh, IB exam scores as a very popular HL course. Now, a bit for the grading at City. DP students uh, work with a 5.0 GPA scale. We use weighted grades because of the rigor of our IB curriculum. Uh, not all colleges recognize these weighted grades, but it will uh, appropriately show up on your students' transcripts. Uh, we have internal and external grading systems based on assessment type, and we will talk about that more right here. You're going to see things, uh, students called IAs and EAs. IAs are for internal assessments, those such things as orals for language classes, some of the field work you're doing, uh, investigations in math, what you're doing in your art classes. Uh, these are assessments that you produce uh, for your teachers that are graded by your teachers. They will use an ivory rubric, and a sample selection of those assessments will be shared with IB for external modification. EAs are external assessments. This is work that you produce, uh, such as your extended essay, uh, that will be completely graded by outside IB employees. For our assessments, again, looking specifically at the culminating exam sessions at the end of your 12th grade year. This schedule is set out by IB and it is strictly enforced because this schedule is followed all around the world. Uh, and again, as I said, it occurs at the end of your 12th grade year, uh, you'll have your entire experience, those two years building up for these exams. It's scored on a scale of one through seven. When you get a four, that is, would be uh, considered a passing grade. A lot of the materials that you're gonna use for um, organization, for planning, uh, the calendar and other information are found on our school IB website, www.chmsib.com. And I'll refer back to that again at the end of this video. But that website is full of resources that will be helpful for both you students and parents uh, as you navigate this DP uh, program for grades 11 and 12. This is what the main page will look like when you get there. Again, take a look at it. This is extremely helpful. It is constantly updated and moderated. Um, 
and is a great resource for you. I highly encourage all students and families to take a look at this. So there are some stipulations, some requirements for you to achieve something called an IB diploma. Now, an IB diploma is different than your Grand Rapids Public Schools State of Michigan High School diploma. It's two separate things you, that you will have the opportunity of achieving. All graduates coming out of City High Middle School will get their State of Michigan High School diploma. Because this is an IB program, you have the opportunity to achieve an internationally recognized IB diploma. In order to achieve that, these are the things that must be met. All of your CAS requirements have to be filled. I'll talk about CAS a little bit later. It's part of the IB core. Uh, you have to receive passing grades in TOK. That's your theory of knowledge class and with your extended essay. You do not receive more than three grades of a three or below in your classes and with your final exams. And you have to take three HLs and three SL classes. There is a little wiggle room in there in the sense that you can take a max of four but HL classes, but we highly encourage all students to stick with three HLs and three SLs. Again, working on that learner profile attribute of being a balanced individual. Now, all of your scores from your IB exams and your TOK and EE culminate into your overall IB score at the end of these two years, and you must achieve at least 24 points across uh, the six classes. And throughout your time here, uh, you must adhere to uh, consistent academic practices of integrity. An overview of the two years. Now there's a lot on this slide, it's on this next slide. It's not everything, but is the most important. So take a look. At the end of your 10th grade year, that's your final year of MYP, uh, you're gonna make some class choices specifically regarding math, sciences, and the arts. Your first semester as an 11th grader, you're gonna sample some of the differences between those HL and SL topics in the classes that you're, of, that you're a part of. You'll continue your SAT preparation and you'll be introduced to the extended essay. You'll be paired with a mentor, a staff member, a teacher here at school who will help guide and mentor you through that extended essay process. In your second semester as 11th grade, uh, you're going to give your individual oral presentations and you are going to be working on producing and uh, sharing your theory of knowledge presentation. You're going to have some IAs that start at the end of your 11th grade and continue on into your 12th grade. Coming into senior year for semester one, you're going to be making your HL and SL selections. You'll continue and finish up your IAs. You have such things as class investigations and projects. Your extended essay is going to be due or it will be worked on. Such things as music project, orals, uh, world language writing, and et cetera. Your final semester as a senior, you're going to finish your IAs. You're going to have solar performances if you're in music. Your visual artwork is going to be done. World language orals are going to be worked on. And then at the end, there will be a season of IB exams. Now, this and more is described in greater depth in our DP handbook, as well as on uh, chmsib.com. Now, this sounds like a lot, but we have supports for as rigorous as this curriculum is. Our supports are equally as rigorous. You are never going to do this alone. You have a counseling team that is well equipped to help you navigate the IB journey as well as uh, navigate the social emotional stresses of just being a high schooler. Uh, we have youth advocates in the building. Their sole purpose is to simply build relationships with you to be as a moderating uh, presence between uh, you and other students, between you and faculty members should it arise uh, for, for your betterment, betterment and, and for your collective sense of support. We have something unique uh, here at City and just a couple other places in Grand Rapids Public Schools where we actually have an individual staff member here solely uh, for the guiding and support of our students' emotional health and well-being. Your teachers are, have specific training for IB and they are here and have developed uh, classroom protocols uh, to support your emotional, uh, social, mental, and academic success in their respective classrooms and in our school community as a whole. And of course, our administration here, um, Mr. Huppert, our head principal, Ms. Vanderbilt, our assistant principal, and Ms. Modulesky, our school improvement uh, coordinator, as well as myself, Mr. Ansma, your IB coordinator, are here to help you and support you in any way that we can. And lastly, parents and guardians, 
we are in this together. We definitely consider this a partnership uh, in working together for the betterment and well-being of your student. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on IB Core. There is a whole lot of information on chmsib.com. We have coordinators and teachers who are uh, there, for, there for to answer questions specifically for these main components. I will describe them briefly, however, for this video. One is the extended essay. Uh, that is an essay that your student is going to write. It is based on a topic and content area of your choosing. This is very much an analytical and research paper. It's an extensive essay, hence the name extended essay. This is very much uh, a late college uh, type of essay and our students are engaging with this because of their capacity and because of the support systems we have in place and because of the rigorous uh, IB curriculum that they are a part of but they're gonna be well prepared for writing processes and assignments in their any post-secondary education that they may be interested in going to. Additionally, we have creativity, activity, and service, uh, most commonly referred to as CAS. These are hours that students spend outside of the academic time uh, pursuing creative uh, passions, such as playing music, uh, drawing, poetry, what have you. Uh, activity, how our students are physically taking care of themselves, whether they're playing sports or going to public schools, they're running on their own, they're playing frisbee in the park, what have you, anything that they're doing for their physical well-being, and then service. What are they doing to engage with their communities, to lend a hand, um, and simply to serve those around them? Uh, there are certain hour requirements and they will be submitted every month using a Google form on CHMSIB. We have certain coordinators for specifically forecast to help them along in this process. But this is an IB core component, again, because IB's mission is to develop well-rounded, balanced, holistic uh, individuals for the betterment of our collective and global society. And lastly, uh, theory of knowledge, commonly referred to as TOK. This is a very unique class that attempts to answer the question of how do we know what we know and why? It's a very, it's a class that's based on metacognition, uh, reflecting on the ways that you think. This is a unique class and one that uh, is quite valuable and enjoyed by our students. Now the goal of City High Middle School is to help students develop the tools, skills, and habits of mind to thrive as adults, to build flourishing communities and create a more sustainable future for all the world's inhabitants. This mission works here at City well because it aligns well with how IB works and how it's designed and we are so honored and excited to have you here with us. Uh, students, Please know that we're always cheering for you. We're always rooting for you. We're always excited to support you and to see where you go and the change that you make. Uh, parents and guardians, we appreciate your continued support of our school because uh, when you support your own student, you are supporting everybody here at City. And again, we consider our work uh, as, a, as a partnership and extension of you for the raising and uh, betterment of your child as well as uh, for our greater community. So again, my name is Jesse Ansema. I'm one of the administrators here at City High Middle School. I am the IB coordinator. Uh, we are all here to support you, students and families. We're always cheering for you, and we're so excited for another year at City High.